and gentlemen, welcome back to another video brought to you by Rim. Today we're looking at an Armour 3 map building tool, it's actually called Map Builder. The links will be in the description, it's made by a guy called Neo Armageddon. Loads of support over on the Discord. Uh, basically I've come back to some Armour 3 map editing and the X cam that I've got thousands of hours in no longer works. So it's until someone uh, fixes that, or there's a fix out there, then you have to find an alternative. And the one I'm using is called Map Builder. I know a friend called PKE who uses has built a lot of maps with this tool. It's an in-game editing tool, so it's to place objects and build up towns, etc. So we've been using it. I'm just going to provide the links and show you how to use it or how to install it. So if you fancy a bit of Armor 3 map building and you used to use XCAM and it doesn't work anymore, or you just fancy it anyway, then yeah, this is for you. So first of all, download map builder and you'll get a folder in your downloads. Put it into your Armor 3 directory and you'll see it's at map builder. So start up your armor, go to parameters to all parameters and in this bit here select the map builder so there I'll select this I already have it selected so let's boot up armor I'll show you something I've been working on it's an exile base it's not supposed to look like an army but it's an exile base for one of the gangs over on our exile server so it's like a tower and the base is on top it's pretty pretty cool something different just building different things that I've never built before so yeah, XCAM is my preferred tool, but this does work. It does allow you to save mission.sqms so you can actually use it in your servers. So yeah, I think it's the only tool that you can use currently because I, I read and read and looked for a fix and tried to fix. To no avail, I cannot fix XCAM. It's still broke to this minute and there's others with the issues. So Map Builder is the tool of choice. I have already built a couple of bases and put them on our XL servers and they all work. So at least it works it's not as fluent the controls aren't as easy to use or as fluent yeah it's, it's as good as x cam but it works right come on come on it's pretty simple one thing i can't find though is a search box but there's another link i'm going to provide guys and this shows you all the controls if you want to know how to do something like elevation alt and left mouse button and yeah here's all the controls it's main purpose of this video is just to tell you about this tool in case you, you didn't know if you fancy like doing it yourself uh, and showing you how to set it up and what I've been building currently which isn't finished it is a work in progress come on loading screen come on loading screen I've got quite a few mods selected at the minute just taking his time and we're on a laptop boys we're still on the laptop Back to the main PC soon, back to the main PC soon. Jeez, that is a long time. Come on, so we're just going to the editor. Are we there yet? Are we nearly there yet? <laughs> Right, single player, go to editor, go to the map you're working on. Our Excel server is in Altis. I don't think it can be a bit of Altis Excel, the uh, nostalgia. That's where we all started, man. So let's go into this editor. And what we want to do is put a unit down. Obviously, I'm using the Excel mods to make this base, so I have to use I have to have them selected in the parameters also, so the Excel client. But you don't guys depending on what mod pack you're using. If you want to see them in, in the X in the map builder, then you need to put the you need to add them in your parameters. The mod folder. Right, come on. I cannot wait to get the PC back, man, geez. Right, so let's put a unit down. A playable unit. Sorry, a player unit, not playable. Um, and we also need to go to systems modules and find your map builder put that down and that's it boys pretty damn simple so the controls of the links are in the description for the download and the other link for the controls of this tool but it's pretty damn self-explanatory it's pretty easy to use the base I'm going to show you is for for the ranger gang over on the IGTA XL server so if you fancy a bit of that Head over to the ribtv.co.uk website, find the information. Uh, come on. Come on. 
Right, so as you can see the tool on the right, but what we're going to do, I'm going to change location to where I'm working on, which is up here. Okay. So this is the location the Lazy Boy of the range has picked. Let's load it up. Loading project from Lazy. Is my mouse free? And I'll show you something else. Right, so here's the base, boys. This is Lazy Boys and the Rangers new base. It's a work in progress. Pretty damn sweet. It's not finished, we do need to put a roof, we need to, need to put loads of little rooms and they'll be nearly that. Massive ladder to a hatch roof and my PC laptop is taking a shit. Oh, we're back, we're back. At the minute we've put, put in the floors in and we'll fill it with loads of rooms, that's a roof. The job's a good one. So this is a different type of base, I've never made anything like this, it's pure exile with all the hatches. But what you'd do is you'd save or load, sorry, you would export if you want to save it as a mission SQM, give it a name, click export, and that will go to your Armour 3 directory, app map builder folder, Armour 3, app map builder, NC exports, and here, so you just rename it to mission.sqm, pull it into your documents on with three or on with three other profiles into your player or into your missions and jobs are good in thanks for watching guys like and subscribe get building show me what you built peace